Hey, um, we're here at uh, Blue Mist Road in uh, in uh, North Park, um, North Park, Pennsylvania, um, North Allegheny. This is the school district in here, and uh, scientists have proven that Blue Mist Road is in fact haunted, and that the NA Tigers are in fact not as cool as the Pine Ridge and Rams, and um, basically it's just it's just a bunch of goons out here doing our stuff, looking at ghosts. Hey guys, we're here on Blue Mist Road. Um, Patrick's a little thirsty, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a drink. I'm about to fill this water bottle with the water of the demons, and I'll see what happens. Let's get it. Oh, where did they get it? The demons can smell cologne, so make sure you don't put on your new, new favorite axe spray that you got for Christmas from your parents. Mm. How's the demon water? <laughs> it's actually pretty clear. Chilled to perfection. <laughs> All right, squad, let's keep rolling out. I'm drink it. <laughs> How's the demon water taste? Like victory. Patrick. Hey, we're here on Blue Mist Road still, and we've come across an artifact. Uh, the legend has it that the KKK used these to hang people. So, uh, I watch out. Check yourself. Yeah, check yourself. Before you wreck yourself. Hey, Andrew here. We're on Blue Mist Road. We took a long trek, a long hey, hey. hike. We saw some gangs. Just kidding. No one was on this road. No gangs. But what we came across is number 101. You know it. And you know that it's really good because yeah. it's a pipeline. It's a pipeline. And what those pipelines do is they, that they pipe it up. Some we, uh, besides piping it up, sometimes whenever the ghosts come out at night, they need a way to get actually out on here on the road. So they come through the pipeline. Think of the pipeline as a generator. It just generates ghosts. Um, in Lil Wayne's line, real G's room and silence like lasagna, the G is silent in lasagna. <laughs> yeah. You know it. Blue Mist Road. Nice sunset up ahead. That's Hopefully the demon water. How's the demon water doing? Oh, is it? Oh, you know it's good. <laughs> oh, you know it's good. Uh, I think the demon's got me. It fills me right up. <laughs> Yeah. So we're here at Blue Mist. Hey Mal. Hey. Say some stuff. It's pretty spooky. Um, I saw two ghosts and we're bound to see more.
You know, I'm hoping this shirt brings me good fortune. I need this for lighting, if you don't. Hey, Mal. Uh, okay, obviously this isn't going to be real. What because, is that? Uh, like... Either the moon or someone's house. It's the house. There's literally someone that actually has an address here. I'm literally going to throw up. Wait, like, where is it? Does the mailman, like, come down here? All right, guys. No, guys, I Who seriously can't. It? Hey, guys, I brought a water bottle for some human water. <laughs> We can just All right, right this is the um the railing. Ghost can't climb over it. So right now we're on the good side and Dinny's over there. Hey Mal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Havsies. Um guys, wait, stop for a second. Hey guys, and can we're, we talk we're about walking what we're doing? Blue Mist Road right now. Um Shelby's pretty spooked. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so is Mal. No, I'm, I'm actually spooked myself. So can I uh, do an interview? Yeah. Uh, spooked, is this just what anything. we're doing? Are so we far, we've seen a lot of graffiti from uh, smiley faces to frowny faces to what I am to believe was a lizard and uh, words that read die. Now, I don't know what any of that means, but it's a full moon out tonight and we've got the you best can, clothing you can on see for the this. moon over there. That white so, dot is the moon. <laughs> so it's pretty spooky. Needless to say, than ever. it's really spooky. Ghost experience no. to the notch. No, how spooky is it? To the it? top notch. It's not very spooky. Oh. Stop, Stop making, making them mad! It's so it? spooky! <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? Are you ready to work on this? Let's get back to the It's about lab. to be lit. Hello, everyone. Um, we just got back from our journey from Blue Mist Road. We survived. I'm here with Shelby. She was a part of it. Um, so, how do you describe your experience at Blue Mist Road? Spooky. Any last statements you have to people who are planning to go to this road in the future? Just bring some lights and you should be good. Bring some lights and you'll be good. Thank you for your time, Shelby. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Sorry. Yo, what's up? We're out here with local Treesdale resident and Victoria's Secret model. What's your name? Joey Joy. Now we have a few questions for you. Uh, first question, have you ever been to Blue Mist Road in North Park in Pittsburgh? Yes, seven times because my football number is seven. <laughs> now can you describe any interesting or abnormal experiences that you've had have you seen any paranormal activity on this road <laughs> yes um, i saw a bigfoot on that road can you describe what you saw it was a disgusting looking man covered in fur chasing after me not now, did, this, did this frighten you enough to not come back or would you recommend for other people to come to blue mist road like perhaps on yelp yeah, I would recommend for all Atria's attendants, only the ones who eat the bread basket, to go to Blue Mist Road. And I will never go back to Blue Mist Road again because I've already been there seven times and I have to change my football number again. Do you have any advice for anybody that's planning on going to Blue Mist Road in the future or thinking about it? Yes, I advise you to eat the bread basket from Atria's in Wexford so that you die on a full stomach. Now let's say that you live. Do you do you or do you not go back to Atrias and get the bread basket again? You do go back to Atrias and get the bread basket again because it was five stars on the Yelp. It has to be good. Thank you for your time. Fuck the